I have been waiting seven plus months for this unboxing. I'm ready to step into the future. I've never seen so many people flip flop on a sneaker. You might as well just say hi YouTube because we're clipping this shit. Nobody gave this shoe any time besides the artifact community. I got three today. I got three today. So I got every color in this shoe. Super happy with this. I am ready to unbox these. A lot of people have said that like this shoe was super limited. And it's like, it was no way you can get it. And it really wasn't limited. They would have, it, it was a pre-order. But I ain't gonna lie, waiting seven, eight months is not easy. I mean, that's kind of like, it sucks. Package really nice. Here we go. Oh my god. Jeez, they went all out. Forging complete. I feel like I leveled up. Yeah. Absolutely sick. Presentation. A1 for presentation. Absolutely. Dude, this is like, it reminds me of like, like a, like a chest from like Titanfall. This definitely feels like a chest in a video game that I open up. So we have, we got a size 11 and a half. This is 11 and a half. And you got to pull out, which a lot of you guys are not good at. Oh, we got a sticker pack. Nice, because I paid $222 for these shoes. These are $222. All right, let's open this up. Woo! What? What? These are crazy. They're not as heavy as I thought, because it's such a big wide sneaker it's not that heavy these are crazy these got to be most one of the wildest sneakers i've ever owned absolutely crazy the details is insane so this clips in it's just a little clip it all it just clips it's just little clips this back one's not easy as easy to get on so it does come with extra laces, which is nice. Wow, these laces are weird. It's like rubber texture. All right, let's try these on. It's kind of look weird. Damn, definitely true to size. I wouldn't wear them like this. They're not bad. There you go. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. What do you guys think on the Void? Or is this the Genesis? Which one's this one? This is the Void. What do you guys think of the Void? They do make the feet look small. Well, they're, look how big they are. They're huge. What do you guys think? They're definitely different. They're definitely not for everybody. Let's open up the other one. I don't know which one's which. That one was available for pre-order for everybody. So anybody could have got that. I'm interested to see this one. This one looks crazy. So this is the OG. Holy shit. This one's even crazier. This blue is insane. This one is even better. What? This one's better. Dude, the details on this one is insane. Look at this one. Look at the, look how crazy this one is. Oh, I like the inside. Oh, the inside's so soft compared to this one is more leather. That's leather on the inside, I think. So how do you legit check it? I believe if you scan this, right? If you scan that, the shoe should pop up on your phone. I don't know how that works. Someone's gonna have to teach me. Yeah, NFC tag. Ah, what? Just go click it. Collecting data? Holy shit. I gotta connect my wallet. But holy shit. So there you go. How do you legit check shoes? You just go And there you go. Tell us it's legit. Just the colors. The iridescent, the iridescent look, that blue. I like how the blue goes from like ocean blue to dark blue. Like that blue is insane. It's a nice color blue. They definitely look like some Robocop stuff. All this comes off, I think, right? This comes off too, yeah. This comes off, this comes off. So you can strip it down if you want a stripper. Definitely fun and different. I will say 2024 has been an awesome year for just different stuff. Eventually, I think you could change them out. 
you could change them out and change the colors you can i guess they have like rarity ones like you can get different uh vials and stuff which one do you guys like better i think i'm gonna go with the genesis this one the og they're not that heavy they're not heavy at all i know people will be like they're pretty wide so i definitely would say these are wide foot friendly but it's not like a heavy that's all foam that's foam like it's all foam and then there's like a heavy rubber on it definitely definitely kill it um i'm happy to have these i'm excited to get the the next two i'm just interested to see what they have next man definitely creating some buzz man this has been all over my twitter Everyone's getting their pairs in. This is definitely not for everybody. But I will say too, like, this is the same space Dot Swoosh is in. And this is what we're getting. I just wanna, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm just gonna shit on Dot Swoosh real quick. Dot Swoosh. This is Dot Swoosh. Dot Swoosh. I know it's gonna take time, but I'm just saying like, push the boundaries a little bit, man. Um, resale value. I mean, they're going pretty crazy. They were pretty limited, pretty hard to get. You had to buy ETH, right? You gotta have ETH. You had to purchase the NFT, you had to forge the NFT, and the forging allowed you to get one pair of these, so I was only able to get one of these. That's why these are pretty limited. You only can get one. Two of these, so that's why I got two, and you are able to get two of the black and red, but I only got one, and then the, the, the ghost was available for everybody. Are you actually going to wear them? Yeah, I'll wear them. At some point, I'll wear them. I wouldn't every day wear them. If that's what you're asking, no, like I wouldn't wear these every single day. What's resale? I mean, they're pretty high, but I think they're coming down though. I think these are coming down because a lot of people ordered a bunch of pairs. They go for like 500 bucks. Remember, these were like $222. So it's like, they were pretty expensive. 600 bucks, 600. And I'll see, see what M says on these. I'm curious to see what M feels on these because she wanted the purple. I want to know the third exclusive colorway. I, I think it's probably going to be one of those like crazy ones that they showcased. I, as I, as I said, bro, the community is different, man, right? The community is just different. It's not just sneakerheads. The ghost colorway looks insane though. The ghost colorway looks insane. I'm not sure about the red and black one. The red and black one, I think kind of disappoints me a little bit, but maybe I'll be surprised on that one. Like I say, it's one, I think it's one of those instances where it's like, yeah, on the screen, you're like, oh, that's kind of stupid, blah, blah, blah. But if you got them in hand and you look at the quality and you like take a look at all the details, I think you guys would be pretty surprised by it. If they weren't reselling high, would you still like them? Yeah, I mean, because they're also different. They're also different, man. I do appreciate it's a little bit unique and different. I mean, what do you want, bro? And it's not like I'm going to resell them. So where do I benefit from that? I wanted to show this off last time. So I figured this all out. You know how we were talking about how to authenticate sneakers right one was that trophy room did the card right where people were getting a upper deck card i think it was and then on the top it showed you know the number on the card and that number on the card matched the number on the shoe and then on the back of the card it had a scanner where you can scan it and it says the got em on your phone and it gives you the full details basically telling you that you have a pair kind of like an you know, kind of like an OG version, right? The the card, the card is like a Gem Mint 10. It's supposed to be like a PSA graded in a way. Kind of like, you know, if you're into that whole hobby of cards. I feel like a lot of people would think that's pretty cool. I don't know how much work and effort that is for these brands and companies. I mean, maybe they could implement something like this for some of the high heat. Now, the other way... It's a little bit more complicated, but there's no way the rep companies could ever, ever replicate this shit. So it's the artifact way, which I figured it out yesterday. I have an artifact account. I purchased the artifact Dunk Genesis NFT, but what's pretty cool about owning this and having it in my account is that now this is tied to my shoe. So again, the little artifact logo right in the back of the heel. I finally got it to work. Boom, pops up right there. The NFC tag, and here it is. Boom, there it is. There it's, look what it says, authenticated. It tells you right there, tells you everything about my shoe. It's one of 6,841. It's owned by me right there. So it tells you the owner, which is me. It says the link status. 
So it's been linked once. So it's interesting because I'm curious to know if, if I trade this and sell the shoe, I can unlink it and someone can link it to their account. And I wonder if it's going to be like a second edition link. So you will know how many times this thing was passed around and how many people have owned this shoe. Let's, let's, let's do this with this shoe right here. So again, these are all ways. This is the, this is a different way to be able to authenticate sneakers. Now, now it's telling me here is your digital collectible for your artifact Nike dunk void edition, which you'll be able to mint and link to your physical item. So I'll be able to mint it. I got to open up a MetaMask. No. What? Gas fees, nine bucks. Boom. There it is. I just, there it is. I have it right here. It's owned by me. And it's out of 11, there's 11,000 of these. Holy shit. I have owned one of uh, 11,394. Now, this is what I was talking about. Again, be careful on buying this shoe because the, these come together, this and this. But some people are ripping this off the shoe and selling this separate and keeping this on their account. What can they do with it without the shoe? Well, the rumor is this, the, the rumor is, is that this doesn't just die, right? You don't like this process isn't just done. You know, Nike has invested a lot of money in this. Basically, you're building it out. So uh, they're saying that in the maybe in the near future, you having some of these in your account will unlock future pre-sales to other limited stuff, whether it's the next colorway, the next sneaker, or whatever they have. That's a, again, I just wanted to show that off because that's two different processes. I think, I think it's two different processes. I think more people, I think more people, it's, hey, what's easier? Obviously, the trophy room with the shoe, with the card, either way is fine. But I, I just know that this is a little bit of an easier process for people to get into. This is a more difficult one. This will take longer. But I, I think it's cool, two cool ways.